Hey, this is Randy Malden with Supply Leaders Academy, and I just want to chat with you for a few minutes about contract management. If you're wondering about contract management, just realize that we have a free guide just for you that you can use contract management at your desktop. Just go there, put in your name and your email address, download the guide, and you have it for you to use as your quick reference to contract management. Now, what do we want to talk about specifically today are the six things you need to understand to do appropriate contract management and those are the objectives of the contract in other words what are you trying to buy and get delivered from your vendors work control how do you control the work when do you want the deliverables what are those deliverables supposed to look like what is the quality of the work so we can make sure that our timing is correct throughout our project expiration of the contract when is the contract over when do you know you've received everything you're supposed to receive and now it's time to pay the vendor and then of course expiration when the contract may be expiring and then if you don't renew it the incumbent automatically gets the contract they may have you in a position where they have leverage now because they know they're the only vendor you don't have anyone else so they can do whatever they want so you want to know when the contract's going to be expiring payment when do people get paid how are they going to get paid what do they need to do to get paid once the deliverable is delivered the quality has been assured then we know hey it's time to pay the vendor what does the vendor need to tell you so you can cut them a check and then vendor management one of the most important things we do with contracts is manage our vendors it's where we audit the results the quality the payments everything's done in accordance with the contract supervising the vendors that's one of the main things a lot of people forget about when they're doing their contract management is that we have to supervise our vendors just because they've been cut a contract doesn't mean we forget about the supervision part we have to continuously work with the contracts contractor to make sure that they are going to be on time deliver the quality we're expecting and meeting our expectations and also we are doing what they need to be able to deliver their contracts sometimes they're relying on us to do things and we're not getting those things done so they're waiting and waiting and waiting and then all of a sudden something's late and they're like why didn't you tell us well the contract's going to tell us about that and whenever there's a conflict or something wrong that we need to fix the contract's going to outline exactly what we need to do to resolve that conflict and then compliance Having a contract, knowing we're in compliance with the terms of the contract, compliance with the terms, meeting expectations of deliverables, all of that is inspected and audited to make sure that we are meeting the terms of the contract. The vendors are delivering. We're happy. They're happy. Everyone gets paid and we're able to move forward. But this is not necessarily a easy process. Simple process, yes. Easy process, not necessarily. That's why what I would like for you to do right now is go ahead and just below, take a look at our contract management guidebook. Go ahead and opt in for this so you can have this desktop reference just for you to learn about contract management. If you're an old hat at this, this might be something just to refresh your skills. If this is something you're new to, this is something you're going to want to use to help make sure you're doing the right things for the right reasons at the right time and the right reasons all the way around so you continuously add value to your organization so you become indispensable for your clients and your customers. With that, have a great day and look forward to talking to you soon.